hoping to set up a possible title shot against 140 pound kingpin Castazu. He believes that could be the reward for getting past Mickey Ward tonight. The other war, uh, reward, Jim, could be a third fight with Mickey Ward. First things first. The ultimate journeyman. Maybe the most beloved prize fighter, win for win, of anybody in the sport. He's got 11 losses already, but who's counting? when you fight like this. Jim, we'll see in a few moments that Mickey Ward has the number nine on his boxing trunks in honor of the greatest of New England's heroes, the late Ted Williams. Ted Williams, of course, an icon of the 50s. Back in the 1950s, the ring announcer would have been a guy named Johnny Addy. The Johnny Addy of our generation is Michael Buffer. And here he is. Ladies and gentlemen, by way of Bally's Atlantic City and Caesar's Atlantic City, main events in association with DeBella Entertainment and the King of Beers Budweiser, along with HBO Sports, are proud to present the featured bout of the evening, the rematch. 10 rounds of boxing for the undisputed, never surrender, Blood and Guts Championship of the World. Sanctioned by the New Jersey State Athletic Control Board, Chairman Gerald Gormley, Boxing Commissioner Larry Hazard Sr. The three judges assigned to ringside scoring this bout on the 10-point system will be George Hill, Joe Pasquale, and Luis Rivera. And when the bell rings, your referee in charge of the action, Earl Morton. And now, for the thousands in attendance and the millions watching around the world, ladies and gentlemen, uh, let's get ready to rumble! <laughs> Introducing first, fighting out of the red corner, wearing white, and officially weighing 142 pounds. He brings a professional record to the ring consisting of 38 victories, including 27 knockouts, with 11 defeats while winning a world championship title. From Lowell, Massachusetts, presenting the fighting pride of New England, the never quit, never surrender, former junior welterweight champion of the world, Mickey Wall. And his opponent across the ring fighting out of the blue corner. Wearing blue and weighing in officially at 142 pounds also. His professional record stands at 34 victories, including 28 knockouts. He has six defeats, and he also has captured a world championship. From Jersey City, New Jersey, ladies and gentlemen, here is the ultimate blood and guts warrior, the former junior lightweight champion of the world, Arturo Thunder. You both received the same instruction. I expect you to give me a clean break 
and protect yourself at all times. Here, touch gloves and good luck. Can Mickey Ward make Arturo Gatti fight him again? Is it in Gatti's DNA to do anything else? Once again, don't adjust your sets. We're giving you a 1950s-style build-up to what should be yet another 1950s-style fight. As the bell rings, the color returns. We're back in 2002. And Mickey Ward and Arturo Gatti start again with what may or may not be round 11 of their hellacious 10-round fight in May of this year. Well, George, the central question is, can Arturo Gatti box and continue to box throughout the evening? Well, he's got to establish himself or reestablish himself as the boxer with the jab. Go down to the body. That ensure that he didn't get knocked out in the latter rounds in the first fight. That's both insurance that both fighters will be weak if the weak one get weak. Arturo countering over Mickey Ward's left with a right hand. Ward didn't land until the third round last time. His patented left hook to the body, targeted to the liver, which frees his opponents and forces them to fight Ward style. Ward's already been touched with the right hand by Gotti, and it didn't seem to phase him much. There may already be a little blood from Mickey Ward's nose. In recent years, Arturo Gatti's conditioning and stamina have improved greatly. He admitted to us yesterday that there's still room for improvement. He thinks he may have made it this time around. And Ward starts to use his jab. That's good. Guys, boxing unit, return the favor. Gatti throwing a lot of punches early on. He was the more active fighter in the first fight, throwing 76 punches around. Both guys better realize this is a brand new fight. Don't try to continue something that's already ended months and months and months ago. Forget about the old fight. Good sharp right hand lead by Arturo Gatti, followed up with a left hand. Ward launching most of his punches across the top dueling with Gaddy upstairs instead of working to the body. Whoa, what a good right to the body by Gaddy that time. And a follow-up left hand to the cheek of Gaddy by Ward. That hurt. Overhand right by Gaddy. He's got his man hurt. If he only knew. One thing Gaddy did in the first fight a lot was throw a lot of energy sapping punches to the gloves of Ward. He's being a little bit more judicious and economical here in the first round. But he's landing with relative ease. Uh, stop on, stop on. Wait. And as a result, it's been a big round so far. At least ah. so it appears to these eyes for Arturo Gat. You beat him to the punch every time. You let him bang, bang, put the right hand. Okay. Come back with a jab, come back with a hook. Very good, okay? Don't just get caught pulling out. Everything is beautiful. Just keep doing what you're doing. Stay low. One on the back of my hand. Okay, stay low, baby. Stay low, and you can do this all night. You understand me? Okay. Just stay focused. Here's an example of some judicious economical punching by Gaddy. Here are the body shots after the head shot. CompuBox numbers in round one. Gaddy, 26 out of 79, 33%. Ward throwing only 39 punches in the round. More or less allowed Gaddy to have his way. Arturo threw 43 jabs in the round. That's more than he'd like to throw. He wants to keep it to 25. There's the first rocking left hook from Ward. It caught Gaddy flush on the chin. to the body and the right hand lands across the top and now here comes Ward's first big rally the thing about Gotti he's was able to land some hard body shots and overhand right 
takes a lot of oxygen. You got to recover from those. And that's what he tried to do is coast for a second and got himself punched himself. And now here comes Arturo coming back to match Ward's intensity. Well, he was trying to retaliate because it seemed that he was being hit while he was being held. That's the fighter's instinct. a better jab, left jab. I don't understand why he doesn't use it. Let his head go. Let his head go. Okay, come on. It's a little longer with his left jab, Ward is. Why not use it more? Well, maybe because he's developed that jab relatively late in his career and doesn't believe in it the way he believes in the other weapons in his arsenal. There's Arturo firing punches into Ward's guard. And now he lands the uppercut and lands a follow-up right hand big. Got his corner, told him to stay low. Now I understand what they told him. It seems that Ward is not effective if he takes his head down a little lower. I'd like to see if that really works. There's Ward gunning for that left hook to the body. Right hand across the top. And now Gaddy tries to retaliate with his own left hook to the body. Ward is about it, as tough as you can be as a boxer. God has got no right to do anything but box this man. Low blow by Gotti, completely ignored by referee Earl Morton. Well, Gotti is landing vicious, vicious body punches. And he seems to be, make his man miss when he bows low. I think there's an abrasion on the bridge of Ward's nose now. With a little show of blood from there, Ward has a little bump in the middle of his nose, and it gets abraded in every one of his fights. Am I wrong, Jim, or are these, these rounds just flying by? Well, there are only two of them. <laughs> but it's good stuff to watch once again. He's looking for the right hand over the top. Keep okay. dropping those right hands to the body. Okay, don't get caught pulling out. Thank you, Mr. Nick. Okay, Thank you. speed. Well Give me speed and let's double up on our jab now, okay? Double up on the jab, okay? As soon as you start. There's the left hook that Ward landed on Gaddy. Didn't have a lot of steam. Gaddy's uppercut. These fighters, you've heard of hit and don't be hit. With Gaddy and Ward, it's hit. Be hit and hit again. Arturo Gatti promised not to throw 75 punches per round. He didn't want to leave Mickey Ward that many countering opportunities. In the first two rounds, Gatti has averaged 77 punches around. Hands a hard right hand across the top against Ward. Ward 32 out of 92, starting at a measured pace, just as he did in the last fight. Ward has got a good left jab. He's able to get his right hand in when he uses it. And of course, that opens things up for your left hook. Corner should tell him to jab this man. Jab got him. Jab him. Ward's trainer is his half-brother, Dickie Eklund, who has been at the helm of Ward's boxing career pretty much. Well. There's a great right hand by Gaddy, and Mickey Ward goes down. You don't see that very often, and Ward's still wobbly as Earl Morton picks up the count. Ward off with a solid right hand shot. Let's see if Arturo can finish. Solid right hand there. Uppercut landed. Ward still punching back. Mickey Ward is very wobbly. He has no legs. He's got a ton of heart. 
So far, all he can do is defend himself. He's not throwing any punches. Ward has turned 37 since that last fight. Age has got nothing to do here, Larry. Forget it. Don't even go there. What a right hand by Mickey Ward. Momentarily stops Gaddy in his tracks. Now he lands the left hook to the liver. Gaddy's frozen. Arturo's hands momentarily froze as Mickey Ward nailed him with that body shot. Did, Ward, did Gaddy punch himself out temporarily? No, he just got hit back. This is a fight. Come on, Jim, tell us about it. You don't need a blow-by-blow -blow man to describe this. You know what you're watching. Mickey Ward may make it out of the round. What an unbelievable lift it would be for Ward if he can survive what he took from Gaddy in this round. They give us perfect storms, and here's another one. How, who would have expected Ward to survive and come back the way he did? By CompuBox numbers, Arturo Gatti threw 90 punches in the third round, landing 33. Ward, 18 out of 50. Both guys rocked their opponent in the round. Gaddy almost scored a knockout. Okay. It all came about because of a counter right hand by Gaddy. A counter. Yeah. He's waiting to counter tonight. Okay, break. Stop punching. Stop punching. But at, and at one point along the way, George, he left himself open for that vicious left hook that changes your life. Tell me about it. <laughs> Get your hands free. There's the uppercut again, and another vicious left hook to the body by Gaddy. Ward still seeming to try to find himself after the punishment he took in the third. He's turned southpaw. Switching. Come on, get the hand. Yeah, he's more or less in a southpaw stance, but somewhat just squared up. But yeah, the right hand in the lead as Ward goes southpaw to land his left hand. Left hook to the back. Now Ward back in his conventional stance. Gaddy pawing at his left eye, which is already swelling shut. And Ward is making Gaddy fight more than he really wants to. Ward has moved out of the traditional style of left foot forward, right foot forward. He's walking into his man, not allowing him to pump his jab at all. You got to punch or move back. Right, stop punching, stop punching. That's it. Look it out, look it out, look it out. Ward has a style. And now the blood begins to flow around Gaddy's left eye. It's been one of his Achilles heels throughout his career. You know, Ward has this style where he comes forward with his gloves, wants you to punch yourself out and then punch you. Gaddy is trying to, when he stops punching, he's trying to hold him. Jim, this is not about money. This is a fight. 
believe me, this is not about money. See, that's the point I was making, George, with that question. I'm not sure they could fight any other way for $10 rather than a million and a half. This is about pride and dignity. This exactly. Is this is telling that, look, this is the family I'm from. This is the country I'm from. This is who I am. Absolutely right. Well said, George. It comes out of their core as human beings. They fight to the finish. You saw the combi box numbers for round four. Gaddy, 26 out of 85. Ward, 22 out of 55. Ward stumbled back to his corner at the end of the round. Harold, how do you have it through four? <laughs> okay, Jim, four to nothing, 40 to 35. Arturo Gaddy, you got to give him an extra point in the third round. By the way, Jim, if this fight gets snapped up kind of the cuts, it, it's a TKO because Earl Morton didn't say anything about headbutts. I stop punching. Walk it out. Ward is throwing to the body just like a punching bag that he's going to got his body. Right, stop telling him. Let him go. Let him go. Let him go. Let him go. Everybody tries to throw a left hook to the body, George. Why is Ward so much more effective than most other guys? Well, he believes in it. When you believe in a certain punch, you are better at it. That's all there is to it. That's that job by Ward, and he just barely misses the right hand. Ward can keep up some jab, and he's a better fighter tonight. Gaddy moving once again on his legs. Could be the key to winning the fight for him. As the left jab. Got a right hand again. Gaddy's been successful with those. Oh, boy, you better make sure when that jab come, goes out, if, if you're not jabbing, your hands are up, because this Gaddy will counter punch you. Arturo showing some rare defensive skills and flurries off the ropes to nail Ward. He actually ducked and slipped a couple punches there. And another one. Nice to see that guy that can really box some too. <laughs> and can remember to do it in the heat of battle. hurt. Like a lot of great body punches, Ward takes it to the body pretty well. Ward is not stopping at all. He keeps coming forward. All right, break. Stop punching. Stop punching. And okay, that wears on you that's mentally, doesn't it? It does. When, when, when the fight, the referee tells you to break and you're the one holding on, that works on you mentally. you beating the guy to the body and you're the one holding on. Ward nails Gaddy again upstairs with a counter right. Arturo blinking away the blood in his left eye. Great uppercut left hook combo by Gaddy. Here comes Ward again. Won't take no for an answer. Gaddy lands the right hand flush. Ward just regroups and starts popping his jab. with a punch. Counter right lands again. Okay. Sit nice and relax. Okay, relax, baby. Remember, the longer it goes, the more relaxed you get, the more focused 
what you gotta be, okay? Walk, walk, walk. Punches like these make it seem that it's now Gaddy's fight to lose. Total in round five, CompuBox box numbers. Gaddy threw 84 punches, landed 30. Ward throwing 77 punches, the most he's thrown in the fight, landing 21. Arturo Gatti has not lived up to his promise to throw many fewer punches than in the first fight, be more selective, prevent himself from tiring down in the face of Ward's attack. Instead, he's fought very much the same fight as he fought in New England. He's just done a little better with it so far. is now looking to counter over those body shots. Part of Gaddy's answer to what he would do to prevent Ward's body attack from wilting him, as it did in New England, was to press his own body attack and try to take a lot of starch out of Ward. He's landed some great body shots. Ward's holding up reasonably well. You know what I like about Mickey Ward? He's been hit below the belt, I don't know how many times tonight, and he hasn't complained or looked to the referee for any excuse. That's what you call a man. Nor has he tried to retaliate by hitting Gaddy back low. Seldom you're gonna run into a man like that, I'm telling you. Oh, this is a sportsman. He just keeps coming. Just there was another coming. one right on the belt. Get your hands, put your hands out Mickey Ward works as a road grader in the, when he's not fighting, sitting on top of a big steamroller, and that's how he fights. He just comes straight ahead like a steamroller. He even went back to work on the paving crew and ran the steamroller some after his big win over Gaddy in their first fight. I've seen so many supposedly great fighters, when you hit them below the belt, they fall and scream. This guy has not complained. Ward almost pins Gaddy against the ropes. Arturo dances away. The legs still working, the feet still moving for Gaddy. Gaddy is the boxer tonight. Come on, let's walk, clean walk, clean walk. Let's walk it out, man. Doing an excellent job of boxing. Jab, right hand, move out of the way. That was the plan. That is the formula for trying to avoid what took place in New England, the damage of a head-on-head -head confrontation. Six. It's been a great year in boxing on HBO. We close it out on Saturday, December 14, with one of the sport's all-time great warriors, former heavyweight champion Evander Holyfield. Holyfield faces, faces Chris Bird for a title belt Lennox Lewis chose to drop rather than to face Bird. The 39-year-old or year young Holyfield looks to conquer this division once again, but must first get by the most adept defender among heavyweights. That's Saturday, December 14, only on HBO, the real deal against the defensive wizard. Come on, give me that. Come on, come on, come on, Arturo. Give me that, come on, what's that mean? Come Arturo, on, Arturo. I gotta breathe. In round I six, Arturo Gatti threw 75 punches. Take that. That's his lowest number of the fight, still more than he intended to throw. But the opportunities have been easy and abundant. He landed 27 of them. Mickey Ward, 12 out of 62 for 19%. It's been a rough go for Ward. He may well have lost every round, but rest assured he's still in the fight and doing damage as they go along. Harold, how do you have it through six? Look at Jim, 60 to 53, six rounds to nothing, Arturo Thunder Gaddy. Jim, we all see the clean effect of punching he's doing, but the ring generalship is unbelievable. Back it up, just set up those shots. As soon as he stops, he lets go with a beautiful combination. Gaddy, because of clean punching and ring generalship. 
Double left hook, upstairs, downstairs by Gaddy. Body shot followed by a vicious left hook to the chin by Ward. Gaddy still showing the energy and the commitment to box, box, box. Let's go, babe. Woo! <laughs> Left hook to the body by Gotti. That's a beauty. His corner told him to get low, and whenever he does, he seemed to have a little resting area. Gotti does. First minute and 15 seconds of the round, very effective for Gotti. Finally, Ward lands a punch. Arturo taking the starch out award once again with that concerted body attack. Counter right one more time. Well, it's a brilliant plan by Gaddy. Ward is regarded as a tremendous left hooker, great body punter. Gaddy has come in and attacked his body and has countered his left hook with right hands. He's been doing a lot of good counter right hands. That's got Mickey Ward almost on the defensive. He don't want, just doesn't want to rush in on that counter right hand. One way to take away a left hook. Sometimes you just got to take a chance of a guy's countering you punch after another. Just let him keep on. You just you just keep your fight going. under the left eye of Ward now from those counter right hands by Gaddy and another one lands flush there. Big left hook. Mickey Ward's corner is taking a real deep look at what's going on now. His family does not want him to be hurt tonight. This is a brilliant round by Arturo Gaddy. His most effective of the fight. He dominates from start to the finish and rips Ward with a right hand that sends him stumbling back to the corner. Understand me? Listen to me. He's gonna get desperate. Okay, when you I'm gonna I'm gonna talk. Right, fine. I'm good. Deep breath. Look at me. You gotta listen to me now. Look at me. Look, look. Wake up. Deep breath. Body shots, Larry. Story of the fight. Body work by Gaddy. Boxing by Gaddy. It's one thing to have a plan. It's another to execute it as well as he is doing here. Most rematches, the fighter who won the first fight wins the rematch more easily. That is not happening here. Now, Arturo Gatti's dominance over Mickey Ward is increasing as the fight goes on because his technical plan was the right one and he's executing it. Gatti, 21 out of 38 power shots in round seven. Mickey Ward's face gradually busting up under Gaddy's intense punishment. Arturo, as we told you, with bleeding and swelling around the left eye. The uppercut has been another consistently effective blow for Gaddy tonight. Yeah, but if I'm in Mickey Ward's corner tonight, I'm thinking if he doesn't pick things up this round and get going, I'm not going to allow him to just get totally wiped out like he's been. Things are happening for him right now. Like you told us yesterday, I've been boxing for 30 years. Ideally, I'd like two more fights. This one, a battle with Costa Sue. Bye-bye. This may have been the one punch that made his corner decide, okay, I'll give him another round. He hurt Gotti that time. Hasn't been able to land his money punch now. The left hook to the liver for four or five rounds. Good short right hand inside by Gaddy. Knocked Ward back. Another perfect job of countering Ward's left. Gaddy quicker than Ward. More assertive than Ward. Surer of what
what he wants to do. Terrific left hook to the body by Gaddy. Ward with a counter left hook that works. Ward is willing to take five punches just to land one left hook. Isn't he? That's a throwback to the way it used to be, huh? <laughs> the problem is he's not landing the left hook. He gets in the left hook after he receives about 20 other shots. Left hook lands for Gaddy. Arturo effectively killing time with his footwork now and buying time toward the end of the fight. That's a kind of ring intelligence he has seldom previously shown in his career. Well, when he was a 130 pounder, he showed it. And then he fell in love with being the drama queen or king of boxing. Which is why he's here now. He's gonna get desperate. Okay? Come don't, on, friend. Come on, baby. Arturo, don't look for the knockout. Okay. Let's just pile up points. Okay? Keep piling up points. He's gonna get desperate. Stay low. Remember how you started early staying low with your hands out? Give me that this round. I just want to film. Great, baby. Okay. You can win this fight. You can train high for this fight. You're in better shape. Hey, keep your hands up. Bend down, throwing up a kind of hook. Come on, right there. Come on. Are you not all right? Uppercut hook. Push him the fuck off. I'm going to stop it. Push him. We're going to keep it clean. Round nine of a scheduled ten. Two rounds to go. Buddy McGurge has done an excellent job in preparing. Arturo Gotti for this boxing match. Buddy McGirt is gathering a reputation very early in his training career as one of the smarter guys in the sport. He knows exactly what he's telling his fighter to do. That's seldom seen in this sport. Round nine of the first fight was like round three of this one. I stop buzzing. I got you. Walk it out. Walk it out. Walk it out. Walk it out. And regarded by most who saw it as one of the most memorable rounds in boxing history. Round nine here has begun much more slowly and tactically. Even though the two fighters have thrown more punches tonight through the first eight rounds than they did in Connecticut. This Mickey Ward is some kind of iron man, I tell you that. The first fight was like a head-on collision. This is more of a of a one-car accident. <laughs> Whatever street Mickey Ward was born on, you better go and get some water off of that if you want to be a fighter. Or whatever grows on that street. Hard work. Hard work. Blue collar, low mass. Where we at? Stop watching. Stop watching. Stop it. Stop watching. Okay. Let's go. Ward just doesn't seem to have the remaining spark tonight to punish Ward, or to punish Gaddy, I should say, the way he did in the late rounds in Connecticut. You know what? It started off with a lot of a body attack for Gaddy early on. He went straight to the body, and that's what happened. You take it all from a guy early on. That was part of the intelligence of tonight's plan by Gaddy. And his discipline in executing it. Uh, Ward catches him with two right hands. A counter right and then a big right cross that followed. They're both tired. These are arm punches now, and Mickey Ward sort of shrugs his shoulders as if to say, You've lost your power, hey Arturo? This is round nine. 
the second version. Come on, get the hands free. If this fight is closer on the official scorecards than on Harold Letterman's, remember Gaddy has the edge of the clean knockdown he scored in round three. Yeah. Look, we are fucking ten times higher than you could ever be. Thank you. round with Whatever you want, he's dead. He can't he's move. Dead, he's dead, but he's ten times better. Come here. Yeah. Two. Listen to me. Don't fall into this trap. You understand? Yes. Three minutes! Can we do three minutes? Yes, sir. Let's go, baby. Give it to me. Come on. Come on now. Way to go, man. Way to go. Spin your head. Spin it. Jam. Don't get caught into a slug fest. Okay? Here, drink this. Arturo, listen to me. Round 20, after 19 rounds of unbelievable combat between Mickey Ward and Arturo Gatti, this one begins with a hug for the two fighters at center rank. Harold, how do you have it scored coming to here? I bet you, 8 to 1, 89, 81, Arturo Gatti. Jim, this one can't be close. It's Gatti, too much clean effective punching. I have it seven rounds to two. I think that Gotti has made a mistake for the last three rounds. He laid off and boxed. And that you just can't win fights laying off and boxing for three rounds. That's what he did just to... So you, you think he's making the De La Hoya Trinidad mistake? I think he's made a big mistake. You just can't win fights like this. This is a big night. To say I'm just what about the early lead he seemed to have piled up. I don't think that you can depend on early leads in a fight like this. If you're a referee, you're a human being just like we are. So when you're saying, you're saying that when Harold says this can't be close, you don't necessarily agree? Not necessarily at all. Okay. Yeah, he still has to knock down in round three, as I mentioned, and he's still got the energy to fire off combinations like that. I think Gotti should try to pull this round and win this round and win it good. Well, we'll see what happens in the last minute and a half of the round. That's what he's better do. Make it clear. Make it clear. I think he heard your advice, George. And I think he feels the same way. But he's going to leave some openings for Ward if he does that. And there's a huge left hook. Ward batting Gaddy across the ring with that left. And there's Arturo's left in return. decisively that there wouldn't be reason for a third fight. Why it, killed the Lily? I mean, you know, we, we both thought there was a danger that this fight would be a big letdown <laughs> after what came before it. 
but it wasn't. It was a worthy sequel. In sure. the 10th round, by CompuBox numbers, Mickey Ward, 21 out of 88 punches. What an effort for Mickey Ward in the 10th. The George 88 is, punches. George, you're shaking your head. Tell us why. Unbelievable. I can't believe that two men could give that much of each other. Unbelievable. What was that all about? Nothing. And also, to continue the punch stat numbers, Arturo Gatti deleted, uh, landed 34 of 75 in the round. So both fighters threw a lot of punches and made a big effort in the 10th. Good job, Mickey. I'm proud of you, man. The two best guys in boxing. Boy, you and your new trainers. Y'all did it. the official particulars on the decision. And let's go up to him right now to find out who won. Ladies and gentlemen, before we go to the scorecards, a round of applause one more time for these two warriors in this ring here in Atlantic City. Irish Mickey Ward and Arturo Thunder Gotti. The scoring is as follows. George Hill and Luis Rivera score the bout. 98 to 91. Joseph Pasquale has it, 98 to 90. All for the winner by unanimous decision. Looks like we go to a third bout, ladies and gentlemen. The winner is Arturo Hundegotti! Total copy box numbers. Ward 180 out of 626, Gaddy 276 out of 792, Arturo's victory in the fight reflected in the numbers you see there and they were consistent pretty much from round one through round ten. Arturo promised us he would not average over 70 punches per round, he couldn't stop himself, he averaged almost 80. Power punches. Ward, 134 out of 417. Arturo lands 71 more, throws 13 more, lands at a higher connect percentage. Again, these numbers helping to support the unanimous decision victory for Arturo Gatti. And now let's go to Larry Merchant in the ring. Thank you very much, Jim, and congratulations, Arturo. You tell us, why was it so different this time? Uh, I was listening to my trainer. Uh, I boxed the way I was supposed to box the first fight. I just uh, didn't, I didn't lose a lot of energy like the first fights I did. I, I spent too much energy boxing and using my legs. But tonight, I used my legs, but I stayed in front of them and moved my head real good. Was it one of the tactics to get as low as you were w during the time when you were close to him? Uh, we trained with Amin Buddy. We worked on that, staying low. And uh, when I was close to him, he had a hard time landing his body shot because I was low, low to below his belt. So and it, it gave me an opportunity to move around him. Now, you said you didn't want to throw as many punches as you did the last time because you wanted to conserve your energy, but you threw more. Well, I was in great shape tonight. Uh, I think I landed more than the first fight because uh, Mickey Ward's got a, a very strange defense. His hands never move. It's like two pillars. They don't move out in front of his face, so I had to pick my shots this time. Tell us about the knockdown and what that meant in terms of the rest of the fight. Uh, well, that, that, I thought that uh, Mickey Ward was a very tough guy. And when I landed my right hand, I knew he was hurt. He was not the same after the fight, during the fight. And uh, but Coach Buddy told me that after that, after that knockdown, he was never the same. I told him to pace myself, take my time, and it might happen again. It looked like a punch that might have landed in the, around the ear, in the back of the head, and, and disoriented him. Uh, it was a right hand over the head, it was. Uh, it was a pretty clean shot. I was timing him. Actually, I timed him a few times during the fight. And I got to thank God that uh, my landing worked. How surprised were you 
that he survived that onslaught? Uh, I, I no doubt about it. I knew that he would get up and finish this fight. But uh, there are not too many guys like Mickey Ward around, that's for sure. <laughs> Stay here uh, for a moment, Arturo. Hey. Thanks again for a great fight. Mickey, you tell us why it was different this time. What a good fight. I'm not going to take nothing away from him. No excuses. Um, he fought a smart fight and a good fight, and I give him all the credit in the world. You know, he's a good guy, good, great fighter. Who's his night tonight? It's plain and simple. So he didn't stand in front of you and make it as easy for you as it was the first time. A smart fight. He fought a great fight. My hat's off to him, him and Buddy. This whole camp, uh, the great people, dynamite people, you know, the, the asset to the sport, and uh, he's a better man tonight beat me, that's all. Would you describe the knockdown and ha what happened? Because we've very seldom seen you on the canvas he lately. Me good, you know, he just called me. It happens. You get caught right behind the ear, like, and he's a strong puncher, you know. He just caught me and uh, threw the equilibrium off. I don't know how to. Oh, Jesus, I stood up. I guess Jesus. He's a strong bastard. How did? <laughs> how did you survive that round? Or do you remember? You know, I, I remember it. I just know how to keep my hands up. Uh, try to cover the punches. I know he's a strong guy. He's gonna throw the sneaky punches in there. And it wasn't my night tonight. It was his night, and I give him all the credit. I'm not going to take no, nothing away from him. His eye started to swell and bleed in the middle of the fight. Did you think that that would present the opportunity for you to come back? Uh, well, I felt if I kept throwing a jab with a right hand behind it, I covered the jab with, I covered the right hand with the jab, I'd be able to sneak it in there. But uh, he just moved away at the last second all the time. And, uh, hey, he fought good in fight tonight. That's the bottom line. Mickey... Is this the last one? Are you going to fight one more fight? Well, if we can get it together again, I'll give it another shot. If not, then I'll see what happens. I don't know. Thank you very much Thank again, you, Mickey you. Ward. And Arturo, what are your plans now? Uh, hopefully, uh, uh, Kasazu is going to fight Jesse James Lee, and uh, hopefully he's going to pick me for a, a defense against Arturo Gatti. Would, do you think that a third fight between you is warranted? Well, uh, I have to thank God we're both healthy. We fought a great fight tonight. It's 1-1, one, one, so a third one I wouldn't mind. Oh, that sounds good. Thank you guys very much again for a great show. And back to you, Jim.